In Australia's alpine ecosystem, the mountain pygmy possum is awake after a long hibernation. First discovered as a fossil and believed extinct, this endangered species is waiting for a special insect to arrive. Starting their journey from grasslands hundreds of miles away, these insects embark on one of the most challenging migrations on the planet. Using the starry night sky as their map and the Earth's magnetic field as a compass. The Bogong Moth, a mysterious navigator with an extreme significance to Australia's ecosystems. Bogong moths are very special creatures、uh, because they are, I would say, one of Australia's truly iconic insects. It performs a tremendous long distance navigation, about a thousand kilometres. Uh, in a specific direction to a destination it's never previously been to. It's about four and a half billion moths which arrive in the alpine areas from all over southeastern Australia, and they bring with them, of course, enormous amounts of nutrients that provide critical food sources for other animals that live in the alpine zone, like the mountain pygmy possum. The mountain pygmy possum has a varied diet, but one of the most important parts of its diet is the migratory bogong moth. Particularly at these high elevations, it forms more than 50% of the diet year round. And without that very high fat, protein rich resource, the possums would not survive as well as they do now. The Bogong moth is one of our totems, it's one of our、uh, provenant stories to country. It gives us our identity, but It's about the survival、uh, of our people and country through the resources of the bogong. The bogong moth is a highly nutritious food resource for our people.、Uh, traditionally, we invited neighbouring groups here onto country to celebrate the arrival of the bogong、uh, in order to feast, but also to exchange uh, songs, uh, kinship uh, stories, and also to resolve disputes on country. But despite the bogong moth's plentiful history, climate change and other threats such as pesticide use are now threatening its survival. Unfortunately, southeastern Australia had its worst drought in recorded history、uh, in 2017、uh, until 2020, roughly. And during this time, the bogong moth population plummeted by 99.5%. It was quite a shock emotionally. To arrive in the Bogong Moth Caves as I normally did and discover that the cave that I was visiting, which normally would house tens of millions, possibly hundreds of millions of moths, contained almost no moths at all. As global temperatures rise, Australia's droughts are predicted to get worse. Without consistent rain, the plants that feed the Bogong caterpillars can struggle to grow, and fewer moths are able to make it to adulthood. A decline in the bogong moth numbers, which we've seen recently,、um, results in a decline in the possum numbers because of the lack of food resources. Another、um, devastating effect of climate change that we're seeing happening now is higher frequency of fires and fires burning into the alpine system. The mountain pygmy possum is such a special little animal, but there's this great threat of climate change hovering over us, and I would hate to see the mountain pygmy possum become a fossil once more. The environment,、uh, the land, the mountains, the rivers, it's all connected, not just environmentally, but spiritually for us. And what happens a、uh, hundred kilometres away, or a five hundred or a thousand kilometres away, has impact here on country, and vice versa. You can well imagine the impact that four and a half billion moths makes, not only on the mountains where they're travelling to, but even in the areas that they're travelling over, various grasslands and forests. It's well known, actually, that bogong moths and, and many other moths, for that matter, are excellent pollinators, and many plants rely on them for pollination. Losing a keystone species like the bogong moth would cause cascading effects on ecosystems across southern Australia. But scientists and local custodians are working to monitor the moths and better understand their habitat, behaviour, and migration routes. 
Identifying the threats they face in today's world is the first step in finding ways to secure their future. Working together in partnership is, is crucial. We need to use all the evidence. We need to use science and develop uh, short and long-term strategies to protect country. And we have to work hard to educate and protect our totems, our species, our resources. My job is to take care of the mountain pygmy possum, but I cannot do that unless we have the whole world to help. My hope is that humanity is able to tackle climate change so that this beautiful alpine ecosystem that I've grown to love since a child is there for my own children and grandchildren and indeed for all future generations. Mm -hmm.